20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Raw. And welcome to day number five of 2017. I hope you're having a good time. Let me explain before we get into this topic of Thai women. Let me explain why you haven't seen me in a few days. Huh, look at this. And this is why you haven't seen me. Yep, that's, uh, that's the computer that does all the editing for the videos that you see. Uh, excuse me, this was the, the computer, yeah. Yeah, that was my computer after it fell out of my backpack onto the uh, concrete and um, shattered its screen and pretty much made it kind of uh, a little dumb on the inside. It's a little bit slower than it used to be now. So, <coughs> excuse me. So for a few days, obviously I was in a panic because the computer is again everything it's it's youtube it is 20 seconds in thailand i keep looking over at it because it's sitting on the desk looking back at me but the cool thing was it was busted you just saw the picture of it and so we jumped in a taxi we went to the mall in phuket town and i ran to the second third second floor i was weaving myself through there and i just said who fix computers and they pointed to this woman so great news, great, great, great news. We got here to the mall and the there's a computer uh, repair shop here. And the technician looked at it, plugged it in and said, oh, you just busted the screen. Everything else is fine. So that's gonna cost 4,000 baht to fix, which is a lot less than a 27,000 baht computer. I'm so flipping happy. Oh, I can't wait to get this video up for you. So whenever they went to the woman, she looked at it, she opened it up, she said, it's just the screen. I said, are you sure? She plugged it in, she says, it's just the screen. And I said, whoa, how much to fix the screen? She said, 4,000 baht. I said, please fix the screen. So she, in one hour, she had the screen fixed with a six month guarantee. And um, so now we're back in business, but I hadn't, excuse me, I hadn't. I had not had the computer, I could not do any editing, and so now that I'm back, I thought, well, I have to say hello to you guys, and Happy New Year to you guys, but I don't have any beautiful, see any beautiful video, like any of my videos are beautiful. I don't have any video made, so I'm making this video, because let me tell you what has happened with my friends that I know in Thailand. I'm gonna talk to you today about Thai women and trust and emotion because I've been in Thailand now for a year and a half and I have seen a lot of Thai women relationships. I have seen good, I have seen bad, I have seen weird. The weirdest one I've ever seen, seriously, is like they break up and they get back together all the time. It, all the time. I, I, I don't understand that one. I, I think it's a money thing. I, I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Um, I digress. Since I've been here, what I wanted to say is, one time there was a person that put a comment and it said, why is everybody always making Thailand sound like it's rainbows and unicorns when it's not? Okay, true. I don't like to go around saying, okay, well, this is bad about Thailand, this is bad about Thailand. It, that's pointless. I, you can say that about every country. What I will say is, everyone has this presumption, I think, that you come over here, you find a Thai woman, she's beautiful, she's nice, she cooks for you, she cleans for you, she does everything. Some people say subservient, they are not subservient, trust me, they will, they are not subservient. But what a lot of people don't know about Thai women, Thai women are, uh, let me explain a little bit of history about Thai women real quick. 90% of all Thai women that I've ever met, this is exactly how they are. They got married when they were young. They've had two kids. The Thai man has left them. This is a standard thing over here. Marriage, kids, Thai man goes away. The woman is responsible for the taking, the woman is responsible for taking care of the children, not only her children, but her parents and siblings if the, siblings if the siblings need help, the woman is responsible to take care of it. Not the Thai man that went away. It, no, no. So, so I have, I, you know, having said that, the, the, there's very little or no trust in uh, the Thai women. Oh my, I can't, I can't know. There is very little trust. 
Women, uh, the Thai women automatically will have a trust issue because Thai men have already left them and left them with all the responsibility. So when they meet Farangs that come here, one, they, they, they're looking forward to being treated better and they're looking for money. We all know that they're looking for support for their family and their, their life. However, what I have noticed quite a bit, I know three relationships, tips. I know three relationships right now that are going on. Three. And all three men are financially stable. One is completely rich. I'll just say it. He's rich. The other one is completely stable. Stable? Stable? And the other one is, is completely stable. They're financially secure. They all three have girlfriends. Yes, girlfriends. And when they don't have... There's a very low trust thing. So when the guys want to go and have a beer or hang out with the boys, there's trouble. There's always trouble. The woman, the woman's invited to come along sometimes, and they're still like, no, 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 I want you to stay home with me. And I don't understand. I'm trying to wrap my head around why this relationship, this man, only hangs out with two or three people, but she doesn't want him to do that much. I don't get it. And I it had it back in the States. I had a relationship that was the same way. Don't go anywhere. Don't do anything. I ended up, res I'm not even going to go into that. But I understand it. I just don't understand why when they get a secure man with finances that's taking care of them, that's put them in a house, that's bought them a motorcycle or two. Sorry about the wind. Hello. Hello. I'm Ting Tong. I talk to the camera. <laughs> Not Ting Tong. <laughs> Bum, what was I going to say? Yeah, I guess my point is you can come to Thailand and you can, you're, when you meet the Thai woman, she's going to be smiles, love, warm. Everything is wonderful. But don't be surprised if they get clingy. I have seen very many Thai women here get extremely clingy. And it boils down to trust because I know another relationship that he can go and do whatever he wants to. She can go and do whatever they want to. There's trust. They have a great time. They go separate. They stay together. They, they, they enjoy their time together. They enjoy their time apart. And I do see that, but I also see on the opposite side. So when you come to Thailand and you pick a, a woman and you have a relationship, don't be surprised you could go one way or the other so it's probably the same in your country so if i want to say something negative about thailand you can get some women that can be just dang right clingy mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but anyway uh again i didn't have anything put together for you today so i just wanted to tell you in the past four, five days of this new year's i have seen relationships go mad what the, the one guy, he just told his girlfriend, they have a they have a child. And he just told her the other day, he says, this relationship is not working. I would rather just be alone than to be in this, where are you all the time? Where are you? I mean, she was playing games with him. She was saying, I mean, she, he would be sitting and eating at a restaurant. And she would call and he, he would say, he was at the restaurant. She said, no, you're not. I'm there. I mean, that's just, wow. Because he was literally there. And then she pulls up on the motor. <laughs> so anyway, it's not really a negative thing about Thailand, but that is some news about Thailand. Don't expect all Thai women to be rainbows and unicorns. And, no. The Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention the language barrier. If you have a Thai woman and she doesn't speak very good English, that also creates a whole animosity when you're trying to... One of the guys... His girlfriend doesn't speak a lot of English, so when he tries to explain stuff to her, he may use the wrong word, and if he uses the wrong... Hello. If he uses the wrong word... we got a camera shoot going on behind us over here. So, what's up? <laughs> if he tries to explain something and he uses the wrong word, she'll take that word and turn it into a negative thing, which creates more animosity and then a big fight. So, I forgot about that. Just going to throw that in right now. It's, it, can be, it can be quite challenging uh, when it comes to Thai women. And if you make them mad, if you make them mad, then their friends are mad. Everybody around them that knows them supports them. So, not that I've had any experience with that. No, 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 no. I've never made a Thai woman mad in my life.
um, I'm gonna go on that note. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody goody, don't forget that. <laughs>